So what do I mean when I say GarageBand is Logic Pro, but not quite? Let's use the analogy of buying a new car. When you go to buy a new car, you have options. You have the base model, and the base model is a nice new car, is cheaper than the more luxurious version of the same car, and in this case, in my example, the base model is GarageBand. Now, it's cheap because it's free. When you buy a Mac, you get GarageBand for free on that Mac. Now, that base model of a car serves the exact same purpose as the luxury model. It's going to get you from point A to point B. It has all the standard equipment and standard features, and it probably looks pretty nice. It has the same kind of body style as that luxury version. Now, in my analogy, as you step up to the next level of the car, you actually have to pay a little bit more money. In this case, the next level up would be Logic Pro. In this example, or in my analogy, when you purchase Logic Pro, you spend another $199 at the App Store, and now you have a new, more feature-rich version of the base model car. Now, once you step up in features, you can add things in a car, things like navigation, you can add sunroof, nicer rims instead of hubcaps on the base model. But as you add these features, you can continue to add more and more features to take that next step up to make it a completely luxurious version of this car. Now, the top of the line, fully blown out, full featured version is going to cost you a lot more in the analogy of buying a car. And this is where my analogy breaks down, because when you purchase Logic Pro, that first step up where you've gone from hubcaps to now rims and maybe power windows instead of roll up windows, it only costs you $199. But adding the navigation, the backup camera and all of the features, the leather seats, everything that's going to make it a luxury automobile is not going to cost you any more than that $199. So that breaks down because, you know, if you're purchasing a car, everything you add, you add navigation, that's $3,000. You want floor mats, that's another $600. Now, if we're talking about other dolls, which will remain nameless, that analogy stays intact because if you want things like surround sound, you have to pay more money. If you want any more features other than what that first level gives you, you pay a little bit more money every single time. So that analogy stays intact. With this, you get GarageBand on your new Mac, and as you grow as a music composer and an audio recorder, so whatever it is you're doing, you can go to Logic Pro for $199, and once you get in Logic Pro, it looks very similar to what you're used to in GarageBand, so that transition is very easy. But as you grow, you can continuously add new features, and it doesn't cost you any more money. It's just a matter of turning those features on. So let's look at how all of this operates in Logic. What you're looking at now is the GarageBand project brought over into Logic. I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of this so you can hear that it still sounds the same. So you can hear it, the same instruments, the same sounds, everything came over from my GarageBand project. I'm going to switch back into GarageBand really quickly here. And this is the GarageBand project. So the interface that you're looking at almost looks identical to what you're used to in GarageBand. So now we're back in Logic. Let me first slow down a little bit and kind of talk to you about what's happened here. In Logic's default configuration, it is created so that you can make a very comfortable transition from your GarageBand projects into Logic Pro. Speaking frankly, a lot of the uh, trainers like myself, when we first saw Logic 10 and we saw these wooden panels on the left and the right hand side, there was kind of a panic that happened because we thought that Apple had basically turned Logic into GarageBand, which they kind of did. but. It's so cool because you have this. If you go to Logic Pro X and you go to Preferences and go to Advanced Tools, by just opening this project in Logic, you've moved from that base car into a upgraded version with more features. But this is the window where you can add in 
navigation. You can add in a sunroof. You can put leather seats in, wood grain. You know what I mean? You can add all the new features you want by clicking these buttons here. See, it says show advanced tools. Now this course is just about opening a GarageBand project in Logic without ever adding any of these additional features, without adding the navigation or the leather seats or any of that type of stuff. It's just how much more power you have by just opening that GarageBand project in Logic in the default configuration, which is what you see here. But if I clicked show advanced tools, then you will see the wooden panels went away first and you see all of these additional options, audio options, surround options, MIDI options, control surface options, score options, advanced editing options. All of that stuff is just way too much to cover in a fast track course. So I'm just gonna concentrate on if you bring your project into Logic in the default configuration without any of the advanced tools. So we're not going luxury Logic yet. We're just staying here in the base upgrade. We're going to look at the differences from that perspective.